you see? We're gonna make this our new little chum smasher bucket. All of our other previous feet little things we break in half, they crack, they're not strong enough. I am going to strap this on the transom of the contender. And those holes were for it to leach over the side. Some people might think that was crazy what I did to a $500 cooler, but I say that's what the sponsors are for. You need to do cool stuff like that. My right shoulder is sore. It's probably all those push ups I do before I go to sleep. But it ain't easy doing 100 straight. Well, this is cool. It kind of looks somewhat like. The tracker. Uh huh. So you guys track individual sharks, and we actually try to track the genes within the sharks. And so by looking at the diffusion of genes, we can actually see how these animals move in some sense, or at least how their genes move. So take me through the map a little bit here. You can move around and you can determine what sort of shark lives anywhere in the world with this thing, is that right? Right, so we have a database which gives us the ranges of each individual, and then we can move a little cursor around anywhere in the world so that we can see what kind of sharks are found in any particular body of water. You know, we're building a huge educational curriculum around uh -huh. the global shark tracker right oh, now. Great. And the, so the obvious surface layer thing is just tracking. Mm -hmm. But we're wanting to then create layers and layers to get down more into what you're doing here mm -hmm. so that depending upon how deep the student wants to go in the journey, right. they have that opportunity. Right. Especially there's a big difference between fourth grade and twelfth grade. Right? Yeah, but I think fourth graders can do what twelfth graders generally do if you present the material in the right way. Perhaps. Yeah. yeah. Are we good to go? I think so. You're staring out and you're seeing all these shark things that don't turn out to be sharks. Oh, what was that? A fin. It's not a fin, it's a feather. Because it flew away. No matter how unlikely it is, you just gotta just go as hard as you possibly can the whole time. You gotta remember there's all those other people on the boat that are coming on their one trip per year or one trip a lifetime for some people. The more data you can get, if we can get all kinds of sharks, if we can get hundreds of sharks out there swimming around, I'd be able to solve a lot of other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we fished as hard as we fished other places and you didn't catch anything and nothing ever showed, at least you learned something. 